Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to change the color of alternative row in SSRS report. We'll learn how to create a tabular report. We will also learn how to use the row number function and if function to check either our expression is true or false. And depending on that result, we'll set in the background color of our rows. So let's go to the SSMS and take a look. Right now, I have a query that's returning me a few of the records and it has sales first sales person first name last name and product names and all that so we will use any col uh, columns uh, from this uh, query doesn't really matter because we are going to work on the logic how to change the color of those alternative row let's go to the ssdt sql server data tools uh, and uh, once we are in the ssrs project uh, we need a shared data source or we have to create embedded one in my case i have a shared data source that's pointing to the sales database so we are good here if you don't have it you want to create a right click and create a new one you have to provide sql server instance name and then you will be providing database name go to the reports tab click here add new item click on the report and it will create empty report for you so let's uh, say alt uh, underscore color that's what i'm going to call this one once uh, the report is created uh, here in the report data if you don't see this report data or toolbox here you can always go here in the view drop down and select from uh, there so once you have the uh, if you have it here and you have selected this one this will be grayed out so if you don't have it uh, you let's say you close this one then you can go to view and you will see all those so let's say if we all cancel everything then go to the view and the report data is there and we have also the tool uh, box here if we need to for uh, so select the table matrix and whatnot so go to the report data click on the data source right click add data source so you, here you can create an embedded data source in our case we are going to use the shared data source we call it d set sales and we are going to use this one sales next part we will be creating a data set that will be a query that will return us some results let's call this one d set sale total now select a data source and provide your query here once the query is here we are all good right click and go to insert and table bring the few of the columns or fields what you whatever you call them and uh, we are all good here now let's make this report a little better and change the color of the header and also change the width for those cells uh, so the name or uh, the header fits in now go ahead and bold and change the color we are all good here our report is ready now the next part is what we want to do for each of the row we want to have different color maybe I would like to have a black and or white or a green and yellow so we can try those different colors whatever works best but for each of the line we want to have different uh, for each of the row we want to have different color first of all I would like to add a new column on the right why because I want to show you the things or expression that that's how exactly we are calculating those things and here what we are going to do we are going to get the row number and then what I want to do if I have the row number then I will divide that row number with the two and if I get reminder and I will say okay if it is one change the color if it is zero then change the different color so that's the two condition I can use first of all I'm going to use uh, expressions uh, to create those row numbers uh, so I can show you the row number so here we'll say row number and uh, this function is available here in the common functions uh, and uh, miscellaneous and you can use from here you can double click uh, and here inside uh, you will be providing uh, the scope uh, in our case uh, it is nothing uh, nothing means uh, at that data set level you can write the data set name if you like you can say d set underscore sales in the double quotes on both sides that will work the same way now if we go ahead and take a look what happened we have the row numbers if i divide these row numbers and have some uh, um, logic uh, like if else i can do it if i can divide with two in the case where i have a reminder one or uh, uh, let's say even not one but I, I have I don't have Z is equal to zero then uh, what does that mean I can use that logic and bring a color so let me go ahead here and now 
select all those columns uh, let's select everything and go to the F4 once you press F4 uh, it will show us uh, all those properties uh, we wa what we want to do we want to do the background color and here right now we don't have any color go to the expressions uh, and uh, what I want to do here I want to write that expressions so I want to say if uh, I I F that means uh, this is going to check a condition so expression is boolean so this is going to check expression if it is true part then uh, we can use that one and uh, then we have the false part so we are going to say row number let me go to miscellaneous and row number and inside the row number I say nothing more mod of 2 is equal to 0 then what I want then uh, if that's true I want a uh, green otherwise uh, if it is false I want uh, yellow so that's how I can uh, write this uh, if uh, state uh, that's how I can use uh, if function uh, with row number function so I'm taking the mod of this uh, whatever the row number is going to produce uh, and then if it is a uh, zero yeah go ahead and it will be true and uh, uh, then give me green otherwise uh, give me yellow hit ok and as you guys can see that uh, the color is a change so wherever uh, it was able to divide and the outcome was uh, uh, 0 so 2 divided by 2 is 0 2 uh, 4 divided by 2 is 0 6 divided by 2 so those even numbers are able to uh, divide uh, and uh, give us uh, the reminder 0 and uh, in that case uh, we are green otherwise uh, we are yellow so that's how you will be writing uh, your uh, expressions uh, on uh, different properties such as the uh, background color font color and uh, uh, use those expressions and functions uh, uh, such as I, I if uh, switch uh, and row numbers and uh, other uh, different functions uh, to handle these situations and change the properties on the fly depending on the values uh, come in uh, in these uh, cells so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys uh, in next video